Do you want to install WordPress theme into your web hosting by using your phone? If yes, then you are in the right video. Hello guys, my name is Nawaz Shah and you are watching Code and Coins. Now, as you know, to start this tutorial, we need a WordPress theme. So, I'm going to download my WordPress theme which I purchased from themeforest.net. Although there are myriads of free uh, WordPress theme out there, but uh, if you really want to make your website professional looking to your customer, then you can find it on ThemeForest. So I put the link in the description. You can check that out. Now come to our next point, that is uh, web hosting. And from my experience, I highly recommend Hostinger because there are two things which I like about Hostinger great specs and great customer support and I also want to thanks to Hostinger to sponsoring this video so guys if you are interested in web hosting then go to hostinger.in slash code and coins and use the promo code code and coins to get up to 90% discount on your yearly hosting plan you can find link in the description now without any further delay Let's start our installation process. If you are in Hostinger, then you have to go to website and auto installer. But if you are using other than Hostinger, then this feature may be available on web application or software or something like that. But if your hosting provider don't have this feature, then you don't have to worry about that. Later in this video, I will guide you the manual method. So no need to worry. Now click on WordPress. Now between HTTP and HTTPS, if you had added SSL into your domain, then you have to choose HTTPS. But currently I haven't added SSL to my desired domain. So I'm gonna choose HTTP only. Then choose the domain where you want to install your WordPress. I'm going to install WordPress in this demo.codeandcourse.com. Then in WordPress, if you leave it blank, then WordPress will be installed in demo.codeandcourse.com in my case. But uh, if you write something like blog, then the WordPress will be installed in demo.codeandcourse.com slash blog so i'm gonna leave it blank give username give password then email and website title at last install and many of this information are changeable so you don't have to worry uh, if you enter something wrong here but you have to remember your username password and email address now our wordpress site is ready to visit if i go to the domain or click uh, demo.codeandcourse.com here it will redirect to the wordpress site here you can see this is the WordPress site if you made up to here then congratulations for your first WordPress site I can also view this in uh, desktop version this is how it looks like in desktop now come back and click the WordPress icon and here you can find some of the server configuration if i go to bottom here you can see this uh, database is created for our wordpress site and by using this link we can go to wordpress admin page this is our wordpress admin page to go to this wordpress admin page directly you have to go to your domain slash wp 
hyphen admin in my case uh, this is the link and this is our first and easy method to create a wordpress site now in second method we do all this thing manually and i want to remind you that this second method is applicable for all the user who have mysql database and psp in their hosting now before i start the second method first i'm gonna remove uh, this wordpress now we have to go to database section then mysql database this is just for a demo purpose so i'm gonna give a database name username and password we will need a database name database username and database password so make sure you have copied this information safely somewhere now i'm gonna create it now if i scroll down here you can see our newly created database but creating a database in your hosting may be different maybe in your hosting you first uh, create a database then create a username and give privilege what privilege you want to give to that user so maybe a little bit different but uh, in general the process is somehow same now after we create a database our next step is to download uh, wordpress cms file so go to wordpress.org slash download or you can find the link in the description and download the latest version after that we need to go to file section and file manager then choose a directory where you want to upload wordpress but remember your directory must be inside public html here i am going to upload in our demo subfolder uh, so i am going to choose demo but if you are planning to upload uh, wordpress into your main domain then you have to upload that wordpress file inside public html folder now you can see inside my demo folder i already have a wordpress file from my first method so i'm gonna select all and delete but always to back up before you delete anything now click upload select file then select wordpress zip file and upload now extract this zip file then go inside extracted folder wordpress and you will find all these wordpress file just you have to select all move and change the destination as i already told you i want to install wordpress in demo so i'm gonna choose demo but if you want to upload in public html then you have to choose public html but i'm gonna choose demo and click on move now if i go to demo here you can see all the file have been moved into a demo directory now from here we do not need uh, this wordpress and the wordpress gif file so i'm gonna delete this 
our second step is going to complete so uh, go to your website url i already opened my website uh, so i just have to refresh it i'm gonna change this desktop view now after you get uh, this type of interface you have to choose a language uh, by default it is english united states and i am fine with the united states language so i'm gonna click continue uh, remember i told you to save database name database username and database password make them ready because we are going to use them let's go paste it here and the password is very simple in hosting section most of the hosting provider uses local host but if local host does not work for you you can ask your hosting provider what the hosting name is then in uh, table prefix if you want to install a multiple wordpress site in a single database then you have to make this uh, table prefix unique for each wordpress site but at this time i want to install only one wordpress site in my database so i leave it as it is and click submit run the installation give a site name as we do before username and password for password you can go with what wordpress suggest but uh, for the age i will choose just one two three four five six seven eight and you can take this if you want to make your website private that means if you don't want to show your website in search engine result but i want to make my website public so i don't take it here and click install wordpress login login with your username and password and once again welcome to wordpress dashboard now to visit your site from wordpress dashboard just you have to long press the home button and click open in new tab and here you can see uh, the wordpress site and this is our wordpress site nothing really changed it is same as before now let's see how we can replace the default wordpress theme with our desired wordpress theme for that go back to dashboard menu appearance and theme I'm going to update uh, these two theme also. And I'm going to open it in website desktop version. Click add new. Upload theme. Choose file. Then choose theme zip file and click install now and our installation is starting and my installation is completed now to activate your wordpress theme just you have to select your wordpress theme and click activate and depending on your theme you may get a set of widget or may not so my theme get a setup wizard so i'm gonna click let's go next step continue create and use child theme continue now here it asking me to install some uh, plugin so i'm gonna mark 
all and continue now after you install the plugin then you have to choose any demo theme you like I'm gonna first go to Elementor and choose main demo again Elementor and standard input after the installation is finished you can visit your site As you can see by using our new WordPress theme, uh, the site looks more amazing. So guys, this is the end of this tutorial. To recap this tutorial, first we start by downloading WordPress theme. Then in first method, we install WordPress by using inbuilt software of web hosting. In second method, we manually created our database, download and install WordPress. And at the end, we use our own theme. So guys, if you got any issue during installation process, then you can go to form.codeandcodes.com, search your problem there. If you don't find, then create a new topic about your problem or you can also join to our FA group and at the end, in next tutorial, I will teach you how you can migrate your WordPress site. Bye bye.